It's time for Dumb Crook News. Dumb Crook stories sent from you, the Big Show listener, around the world, to the Big Show studio, the address. We'll follow this report. A man in Portland, Oregon, hailed a taxi to a branch of Bank of America and pulled a daring daylight heist. Wow. The cabbie was questioned by the FBI, but was unable to give them too much to go on. Later that same day, the robber again phoned for a taxi, and as luck would have it, the same driver was dispatched to pick him up. Well, after dropping the man at his destination, the cabbie phoned the FBI. When agents arrived to arrest the suspect, he was still carrying the hold-up note in his pocket. Y'all, this has been such a crazy day for me. You would just not believe it. Two men broke into the service yard of a boat dealer in Kinston, North Carolina, by cutting a hole in the store's fence and backing their truck through the hole. Well, they were attempting to steal an aluminum boat on a trailer that was parked in a yard. We say attempting because when police arrived, they discovered the boat in the back of the pickup truck and the outboard motor in the boat. Hmm. The men had apparently cut the hole in the fence a little too small, Uh and the trailer's fenders got lodged in the fence when they tried to drive away. It launched the boat off the trailer (laughs) and into the back of the truck. (laughs) The men also ended up having to flee the crime scene on foot. And cops say when they got out to investigate the problem, the driver locked the keys inside the getaway truck. (laughs) And then the roadrunner ran by and went, beep, beep. (laughs) A Minnesota man was arrested after a long string of residential burglaries. The suspect told police he picked his targets by placing his ear against a window of the house where his uncanny sense of hearing could detect whether or not the occupants were at home. Well, police identified him by matching the ear prints he left on the windows at several of the break-ins. <laughs> Two volunteer firefighters in Plains, Ohio, were playing hide-and-seek with the neighborhood kids when they got stuck in a tree 15 feet up. Oh, no. Are we really going to have to? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, they were rescued by 10 of their colleagues in a fire truck with the extension ladder. <laughs> hey, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> A Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania plumber moonlighting as a stick-up artist robbed a pair of convenience stores and returned home only to find a police cruiser waiting for him. Mm. How had the cops identified their suspect so quickly? Well, it's usually not a good idea to use a truck with the name of your plumbing business painted on the side (laughs) as your getaway car. Mm. A man broke into the Randolph County Courthouse in Muncie, Indiana, and stole $25 in cash from the receptionist's desk. The brazen thief hid himself in a closet, but was discovered by a janitor a short time later. As the janitor went to alert authorities, the thief sprinted out of the courthouse, dashed across a parking lot, and took refuge in another nearby building. His caper ended seconds later when he discovered the second building was the Randolph County Jail. (laughs) Yes. Dude. Police in Newton, North Carolina, were pretty sure one driver at their DUI checkpoint was driving drunk, the one who ran into the back of their alcohol testing bus. (laughs) Police said there were over a dozen marked patrol cars with their blue lights on at the checkpoint, and one officer ducked behind his cruiser when the man came rolling up. A team of nine other officers inside the bus felt the impact, but the wayward driver was the only person injured. The crash caused $14,000 in damage to the DUI bus and a police cruiser. The driver facing a variety of charges, including driving drugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You need to see my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, federal investigators cracked a nationwide ring of counterfeiters who sold bogus sports memorabilia and forged celebrity autographs in nearly every state of the union. The thieves apparently got in a hurry to turn a fast buck. Among the tens of thousands of items seized by the feds were several baseballs autographed by Mother Teresa. (laughs) 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 If you got Dumb Crook news, mail to Dumb Crooks. John Boy Billy, P.O. Box 19111, Charlotte, N.C. 28219. Email anybody but me at thebigshow.com.